Here we are, a world well known to everyone, our wholly humble, humdrum one. Warm, familiar, reassuring, and truth to tell, just a little boring. But two worlds now are in collision through the magic we call Fable Vision. Word of warning to you, the brave volunteer, about how things tend to go down around here. You see, you can't complain and shouldn't grumble should your self-esteem take a little tumble. For here too, life can turn the tables in the world of funky fables. <laughs> Who's made it through? Today's episode, Get Lucky. Welcome once again, my friends, to a land where mayhem never ends. Listen to our tale, take heed, about a prince who loves to speed along the lanes so small and narrow, without a care for beast nor barrow. A prince who disrespects all magic can only have an end that's tragic. Hey up, son. How's the new set of wheels? It's so fast. I left this morning and got here yesterday. It's a beast. Oh, it's very good to see you so happy, my boy. I'm far from happy. These windy roads are awful. I can barely get this speed demon out of second gear. But I have a plan. Summon the Royal Engineer. OK, Wooden Face, here's the deal. I'm sick of having to slow down for all these corners. I want you to build me the first motorway right through the kingdom so I can drive my carriage as fast as possible and make the chicks dig me even more. But there are objects in the way. Schools, houses. Ha! Knock them down. Build over them. I want this road as straight as an arrow. Ha! Of course, sire. I wouldn't expect anything less from such a splendiferous ignoramus. Absolutely! Remind me again what ignoramus means? Er, uh, uh, it uh, means uh, boy racer. Danny. Precisely! That's me! I'm the biggest ignoramus in the land! Soon, we will fly like the wind! <laughs> uh, sire, uh, we have a bit of a problem with the motorway. Oh, what is it now, Splinter Pants? Well, uh, the enchanted forest is in the way, and the workers refuse to touch even a twig in case they are cursed. Ha! Huh, those superstitious numbskulls! Er, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, a slight uh, detour around the magic wood and... Detour? Around? What is it about the word straight you don't understand? I want my motorway, and I want it now! Princey slows down for no one. Vroom, vroom. Get back to work, you buffoons. That's an order. But it's the enchanted forest, sire. We don't want to be cursed with bad luck. Curses? You are all a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as bad luck. I'm so scared of the enchanted forest. Oh, look at me. I'm so scared of these leaves and this flower. Oh, I'm going to be cursed. Off! Ha ha ha! Who's the unlucky one? Oh! Oof. <laughs> Could have happened to anyone. Yeah! <laughs> Just a coincidence. Sire, please! The curse! <laughs> a cloud, eh? Is that the best you can do? A little rain's not gonna do me any harm. <laughs> oh, at last, I'm safe. What the? Lower the drawbridge! Enchanted forest by any 
chance? No, I haven't been near the enchanted farm. <laughs> OK, OK. So I threatened to tarmac over the enchanted forest and now I'm cursed with bad luck. Help me. I'll do anything. I can help you. For a price. Anything. Just get rid of this terrible curse. All right, then. A kiss. Ugh! You cannot be serious! Ow! 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 <laughs> okay, just one kiss. Oh. Ugh. Okay, now, how do I get rid of this curse? It's simple. All you need to do is bathe in the pool under the magic waterfall to wash away all the bad luck. That's it? OK, how far away is it then? It's just around the corner, dearie. About a two-minute walk. You can't miss it. It has a big sign that says magic waterfall cures bad luck. Perfect. Good luck and fast times. Here we come. <laughs> Oh, what now? You are very lucky, Earthling. Out of the millions of possible Earthling subjects to experiment on, we chose you. Experiment one. Are Earthlings ticklish? Oh, 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 don't tickle me! Oh, 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 it gives me wind! Oh, my Zark. What in the name of Plutarch was that? It's disgusting. He is trying to gas us. <laughs> oh, I must get to the magic pond and wash away this bad luck. Ow, oh, this day can't get any worse. Penguins? Since when are there penguins in the death? <laughs> Oops. Wolfie, you have to help me. I've been cursed by bad luck. I have to reach the magic pond. Bad luck, eh? Nothing makes sense anymore. I was just chased by a horde of penguins. The forest is over there. The magic pond is just on the other side. At last, I'm saved! Um, where is the pond? We had to divert the magic river. It was in the way of your Royal Highness's motorway. Oh, where is it now? Er, it's uh, just on the other side of that forest. Hey, and I'm free. I'm free. No more bad luck for Princey. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. See that big nose? I'm as clean as a whistle. No stampeding herds of wildebeest, no chickens falling from the sky, no swarms of bees or angry penguins. Well, uh, I suppose the curse could have been worse, sire. Imagine if you had stepped on a fairy village or something. Ha <laughs> ha! Curses smirches! I never really believed in all that mumbo jumbo nonsense. There is no such thing as bad luck. Ha ha ha! Oh look, a fairy village. <laughs> ha! Sorry about that. Still, it wasn't exactly the bee's knees in architecture, was it? The only thing worse than an enchanted forest curse is being cursed with bad luck by angry fairies. I might just step over here out of the way. Ha! One acorn? <laughs> is that the best you pipsqueaks can do? <laughs> Oh, 
that's got to hurt, isn't it? OK, OK, you've made your point. That's it. I quit. I'm taking up knitting.